Get ready for a battle between good, evil, and the urge to play something else. I'm the Flannel Fox, Tim Swernick, and I review Devil's Hunt. If you enjoy this video review and would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter at The Flannel Fox. Devil's Hunt is a third person action game where you play as Desmond, a very cliche young man with a wad of cash from his rich daddy, but an empty hole in his heart from never being loved or appreciated. Which you do feel bad for him as luck is not in his favor. His story plays out with a very soap opera vibe, which the game does recognize but still isn't self aware enough to take advantage of it for the player's benefit. Overall, Desmond's battle between good and evil does just enough to give you a reason to go into combat with a touch of gusto. With a light and heavy attack combined with a dodge and block, if you've played an action RPG in the last five years, the controls should feel familiar almost instantly. Utilizing combos to slash your demonic foes to bits feels button mashy and repetitive and maintains that for most of the game. However, as you collect more souls, yes, souls, you can unlock powers that you can map to your face buttons that add some nice variation to the combat. Furthermore, you can freely try different combinations of these powers as your points don't burn when you use them. If you deselect a power, you gain back your souls and can map another power to those buttons, which is awesome so you can try some stuff around. These powers can range from destructive waves of damage that you hurl across the battlefield to grenades that you stick in your opponent only to watch them burn and fall to the ground and are very handy when surrounded by enemy hordes. The visuals are at their best when you're in combat and for what it's trying to achieve, the hellish landscape works pretty well in this incredibly linear experience. However, the cinematic cutscenes are pretty rough. From the facial animations to the underpopulated club scenes, which feel really weird and out of place, and honestly like they're from the PS3 360 era of gaming, they really take away from the experience, specifically with the storytelling, leaving me with a lot of very specific story-related questions that I'm not sure if they were curious design decisions or character intent because something between what I'm seeing on screen with the characters and the story just is not lining up. And that's not the only thing that's puzzling. Throughout the very linear world, they pepper your journey with interactions that seem like they're trying to introduce environmental puzzles, but they hold your hand so much that you might as well be walking on a straight line. For example, when I learned that I could teleport, I was pretty hyped, wondering, ooh, can I use that in combat? Or what secrets will this lead me to? However, in Devil's Hunt, you walk to a ledge, it tells you to search, you look for a second, see the teleportation point marked out by the interaction symbol and you press A. Then walk to another point and press A. Each point is fixed and just like all of the level traversal, which is just quick time interactions that you walk up to and press the same button taking no platforming skill or puzzle solving prowess to accomplish, leaving the real puzzle to be, why does a guy who splits his time between Miami and hell always wear a leather jacket? Devil's Hunt is a video game and you have definitely played one just like it before. Heard the dialogue before and had some fun smashing up enemies just like this before. While I can certainly see some people, particularly fans of very campy movies, having a good time with this game, for most of us, this note of mediocrity will be a tough one to play with all of the great games out there today, and I just can't really recommend it. That's why I'm giving Devil's Hunt a 5.5 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video review of Devil's Hunt, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Flannel Fox. Follow my goofy ass on Twitter, at The Flannel Fox, and be sure to follow me there be, and subscribe, because the more followers I get, the more codes I get, which means I make more videos. Thanks to 1C Entertainment for providing me with this review copy, I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching my videos, and... As always, see you next time.